Well, I tend to think of people as psychological, biological, social, and spiritual beings, that all of these dimensions are interconnected. And so our emotions affect our biology, our relationships affect our emotions, our spiritual beliefs and practices affect our relationships, our psychology, and our biology. So we're all integrated, we're whole human beings. And part of the challenge in understanding spirituality is understanding how does the spiritual dimension um, impact or is impacted by other aspects of life. We've tended to focus on the biopsychosocial. Now we're starting to include the biopsychosocial spiritual. Well, I went into psychology because I thought it would help answer the big questions. Why are we here? What's the meaning of life? How do we make the world a better place? But I was disappointed. I jokingly say that my first client was a pigeon because I learned about behavior through teaching a pigeon operant principles of behaviorism. And that was very useful because operant principles do teach us something about human behavior. But they don't answer the big questions. My pigeon didn't help me with questions about the meaning of life. So I became interested in reading about religion, spirituality, not just reading, but talking to people. And even though I didn't agree with everything I read, I felt that people who were spiritually oriented were grappling with the same questions I was. And that led me step by step into studying spirituality, religion, and health. I think of spirituality in terms of a relationship with something sacred, a relationship with something that transcends ourselves or is more deeply imminent within ourselves. But spirituality is the human quest or search to discover, hold on to, and transform a relationship with something sacred. And by sacred, I not only mean God's higher powers, but other aspects of life that can take on divine qualities. For instance, a marriage can be seen as sacred. A marriage is seen as a sacred vow to many people in the world today. The environment can be seen as sacred, something precious, something we need to preserve because it's something much larger than ourselves. Work can be seen as sacred. We can see work as a vocation rather than just a job. We've been doing research that seems to show that when people see their lives through a sacred lens, when they see more deeply into the heart and soul of the world around them, it makes a difference for their health, their well-being, and the way they treat whatever they hold sacred. Well, we think of spirituality as a potentially powerful force that facilitates the best in who we are. It can bring out the highest of our qualities. It can elevate us to the greatest of our potentials. But that's just one side, because as we see today, spirituality can also be tied to some of the most destructive dangerous, ugly aspects of human behavior. In that way, you could think of it as a double-edged sword. It can bring out the best in us, it can bring out the worst in us.